Hey everyone, quick multiplying square roots video from Houston Math Prep here. When you're multiplying square root expressions, the thing you want to remember is to multiply the insides together, multiply the outsides together, do those separately, and then simplify if you can at the end. Let's just go through several examples here. You'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, so in these first ones here, you'll notice that everything is inside of the root. So I multiply these insides together. So square root five times square root seven is going to become the square root of 35. We would look here and see if we can reduce this, but root 35 is not reducible. Make sure you've checked out one of our reducing square roots videos. That will help with this one. Uh, here we have square root 11 times square root three for the second one. So both things are underneath the root. They multiply together. So 11 times three will give us 33. So square root 33 is our answer. Here we have square root 15 times square root six. 15 times six is going to give us 90 underneath the root. Now, in this particular one, it turns out that 90 can be simplified. So if you do like a factor tree kind of a method where you say 90 is nine times 10, and then nine is three times three, and then you break down 10 into 2 times 5, and you get all the prime factors. So 90 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. You'll notice that a pair of 3s there means a 3 can be pulled out. So we can actually say the 3 will go outside. The 2 and the 5 are not part of a pair. They must stay inside, so 2 times 5 would give us 10 on the outside. So sometimes you may start with a problem where you notice these are all inside, but you get an answer where stuff is on the outside. That's not actually coming from the multiplication part. The multiplication part, remember you multiply the insides together, that gives you the 90, but then reducing the 90 may actually give you something that comes outside. So always check your answer to see if it can be simplified. Okay, moving on to number four. Here we have root 10 times root eight. So those are both inside numbers we multiply them together 10 times 8 gives us 80 and we check to see if we can reduce 80 so if i look over here and i say 80 and 80 is let's start with like 4 and 20 let's say you can start some other way if you want uh, 4 is 2 times 2 right so we've got that there uh, 20 make it 4 times 5 5 can't be factored anymore but 4 can we get another pair of twos out of there so it looks like 80, we get a pair of twos and another pair of twos. So on the outside, we'll get two times two. So that's gonna give us four on the outside. Our five was not part of anything that was a pair. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that inside. So it is root 80, but again, we need to reduce our answers. If we can simplify the root, we get four root five. For number five here, um, I have numbers that are outside and inside and everything's multiplied, so I simply multiply outsides together and insides together. So on the outside, two times four is gonna give us eight. And on the insides, three times five is gonna give us 15. I would look and see if I can simplify this, but it turns out 15 will not simplify as a square root. Let's look at the next one here. I've got 10 times root two multiplied by five root seven. So again, outsides multiplying, 10 times five is gonna give us 50. And then on the insides, root two and root seven will be under the root and two times seven is 14. And root 14 can't be simplified either. So we would leave this as 50 times square root 14 for that answer on number six. Two more. Let's do a little combo of what we've been doing here. So we have four root six times five root two. So first thing we know outsides are gonna multiply four times five, that'll give us 20. And then the insides of the roots should multiply together. So inside we'll get six times two, which is 12. And now 12 is actually something that will simplify. So if I look at 12 and I say, well, 12 is two times six, but then six keeps going and it's two times three. You can see I get a pair of twos that I can pull out there, right, with a three left over. So I actually get, keep the 20 that's already out there, my root 12 becomes two root three. And now you'll notice that two is on the outside, so it needs to multiply with the 20 that was already on the outside. So 20 times two is gonna give us 40 on the outside. So we get 40 times square root three for that one. 
similar here. Number eight, I have a three and a two on the outside, so multiplying those right away, three times two gives me six. Underneath the root, we have 30 times three, and that gives us 90. Square root 90 might look familiar to you. It can be simplified, so we want to simplify the inside. So nine and 10, right? And the nine becomes a three and a three, and then the 10 becomes a two and a five. So what I can do is pull out a three, but I have two times five left inside. So that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and pull out a three. Two times five left on the inside is gonna make that a 10 underneath the root. And now that that three is on the outside, it can be combined and multiplied with the six. And so we'll get an answer of 18 square root 10 for this one.